Have you ever heard of the silent E rule in English? Well, the E at the end of English words is usually not pronounced. You may never have heard of this rule, but you've probably picked it up automatically after some exposure to English because it occurs in a very large number of words. There are many English words ending in a silent E. Here are some examples. Love, cheese, life, create, universe, change. But there are a few exceptions to the silent E rule. These exceptions are all words that have been borrowed from other languages. Words that have been borrowed from French pronounce the final E as A. For example, resume, cafe, fiancé. These words often have a written accent on the E. Take a look. Protégé, sauté, touché, toupee, and cliché. Now words that have been borrowed from other languages pronounce the final E as E, and they have no written accent on them. Some examples are adobe, machete, abalone, coyote, guacamole, karate, karaoke, sesame, acne. Take notice of all the English words that have final E's. Do you use any that have a final E that's pronounced? If so, do you pronounce it as A or E? Take a moment to find out its correct pronunciation. You may find that you've been pronouncing it wrong. Thanks for watching.